y'all and welcome to today's video. I am very excited because the brand Kyla reached out to me, asked me if I wanted to try some things. So I picked some stuff out for their website and I want to try this brand out. I have heard so many things about this brand. Kylove used to be Muse Beauty or Muse Beauty and I heard so many people mention their palettes and their favorites. So we are going to test them out today. We are going to test out their newest palette, the Art Nouveau palette, this rainbow palette that yeah, a lot of my friends seem to be loving. I also got the Rococo palette. This one looks right up my alley some neutrals, some color, really, really, really beautiful. I picked out two of their cream blushes and cream highlights. We are going to create some looks today. I want to do a look with this palette. I want to do a look with this palette. I want to test the blushes on the cheeks. I want to swatch it. I want to do everything. I'm excited about it. And if you are new here, hey, my name is Heather and makeup makes me happy. Here at my channel, we don't try to be perfect. We just want to have a good time with our makeup, whatever that means. Shimmer, glitter, testing new indie brands. We are here for it. So if that sounds good to you, I do hope that you will subscribe before you leave today because I upload lots of new videos every single week. Last week we had six videos. We'll see how many this week brings, but it's lots of uploads. If you want new stuff on your subscription feed, this is the place to be. But I can't wait to talk about these palettes. We're gonna swatch them. We're gonna do some looks. So let's jump into it. up as I was sitting down to film I kind of went back to the Kyla website which I will have linked down below if I can get any type of discount codes or anything like that I will put that down in the description box too but I pulled up the website because I was like you know what let me make sure everything's like in stock and they're having a palette BOGO buy one get one free on the site Listen, if that deal is still going on by the time this video goes up, definitely click the link down below, see if it is, but that's really, really, really good. But let's talk about the things that I got and we'll talk about, you know, we'll, we'll just talk about it and then we'll do the looks. So let's talk about the cream blushes I picked out. So which one am I wearing today? I'm this one. I'm wearing the Color Wash in Timeless and Daydream. So first of all, how cute is this? They had lots of different cream blushes. This is the one I'm wearing today. I actually tapped in the shade Timeless and I put this on over powder because with cream blushes, I kind of like to see, are they going to work over and under powder? And this one does. Like, look how beautiful this looks. Just a color wash. But I used this shade right here, Timeless, and I did not use the shade Daydream, but look at how pretty those are. Let me give you a little swatch right here. So there is Timeless and Daydream. Really, really, really pretty. And then for highlight, I tapped in, so this is the color sheen. I typed in the shade Airy, and then we also have the shade ambient and I wore this again after I powdered my face and it went really really well isn't that pretty I like these and I'm gonna show you like the first look that I'm gonna do I've already played with this one this one I put on under powder and I used a brush and it was beautiful this is the color wash youth and play so you'll see this in the first look that I'm gonna do and these are not, like, see how these kind of have more of a sheen? These two don't have as much of a sheen. But very pigmented, very beautiful. The way I applied them, once, like I said, I applied with my finger, one I applied with a brush. And I really had a great experience with both. So I kind of wanted to mention those first. But then let's talk about the palettes. This is the Rococo palette beautiful art inspired like is this not beautiful beautiful packaging like so pretty I know I keep saying that but Muse Beauty now Kyla Beauty is a 
woman owned brand, independently owned brand operating out of Texas. So I was so excited because y'all know I love some indie brands. I am going to pop up a close up of this palette before I had used it and I'm going to show you swatches. This is a very soft color story. We definitely do have some deep tones with the deep teal, this deep kind of eggplant aubergine color. We have this deep dark brown up here and then we have these pretty light bright fun colors. I love the mix of neutral. I love the mix of color. Excited to show you the look that I did with this and this is the one that we're going to play with today. This is their newest launch. This is the Art Nouveau palette. Again, I love the art theme on these. So pretty and cool and unique. I love that. We have another really nice mirror and then we have a rainbow palette. So I'll show you a close up of this as well. Very beautiful. I love that we have a black in here so we can deepen up any of these shades. I love that we have some neutrals. So if you do want a colorful palette but you also want the options to go neutral, you definitely have that in this palette really 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 pretty let me show you the swatches of this one as well uh i'm just excited about it i'm excited to play with some color very ready to dip my brush into this one now the first look i'm going to show you is with the rococo palette this is going to be a neutral look with enough color for the color lover so i hope you'll enjoy that one and then we'll create a look with the art nouveau palette I'm excited about it. I hope y'all enjoy these looks. Let's jump into it. Okay, for this look, we are gonna do something neutral. Now this palette, the Rococo palette, super beautiful. It does have lots of color. It's mostly a colorful palette, but since we're gonna do a super colorful look later, I thought it would be fun to maybe play with the neutrals in here and test out you know, Kai loves neutral formula. See how that can look. Do something super soft. So I have my eyes primed for shadow with my MAC paint pot. And we're going to go in with this shade right here called Courtship. Okay, I'm putting this down with a Sigma. What brush number is this? E40. And I'm just going to lightly put this in my crease. Blending kind of just back and forth. And really this is going in my crease right here and also above it because I want you to really be able to see this shade. I want it to help open up my deep set eyes. So I'm just buffing this in. Okay, I think that light wash of color looks very nice, very neutral, very easy, effortless. But now I wanna add some depth to the outer corner with this shade right here this really deep dark brown shade. Okay, I've got this Sigma E38. I'm going right in here with my brush. I'm gonna make sure kind of all sides of the brush are coated, can tap off any excess. And I'm going to press this right into this outer corner of my eye right here. So I wanna press this deep shade on first and then I can go and blend it out in just a second, but first I want to make sure that I have all the pigment of the shadow concentrated where I want it to be. And then I'm just going to start buffing and blending. This is going from the lash line up and out. And right now I don't want to bring it too far in. I want it to stay right out here. I'm having a really, really easy time blending this. It's not requiring much effort at all, which is always a good thing. Okay, now I'm going to go back to the original brush, pick up a little bit more of Courtship, and I'm just going to buff and make sure this right here is a nice seamless blend. Okay, I'm going to grab this Sigma E25, and the color that I want all over the lid is this one right here that's in between the two matte shades that we used. This one just looks so beautiful, so I'm going to make sure I really coat my brush, and I'm going to spray my brush with a makeup mist. Whatever mist you have laying around is fine. They all work the same, but I do like to pick up the shadow on my brush, then spray it, and then apply it to my eyes. 
Okay, let's see if this is as pretty on the lid as it is in the pan. And yes, it is. That is really pretty. I really like the tone of this kind of neutrally brown. It has a lot of shine to it, doesn't it? Like, that's really pretty. Okay, that shade applied so, so, so beautifully. Like, I really, really like that. Now, I know I said we were going to keep this a neutral look, and we are. Look, here's your neutral look right here. Throw on some mascara, go. Use one of these shades on the lower lash line. You're done. But I want to pull in a little color in case you love neutrals, but you ain't maybe want to like dabble in color, add color in. A really easy way to start with color when you're a neutral lover is to just add some on the lower lash line. So I can't decide which shade is calling to me most, but I think it's going to be this grandeur shade right here. We're going to put this on the lower lash line, and then I'm going to use a neutral in the waterline so that it's not like so, so, so super impactful, but we're still going to get a little bit of color. Again, if you want no color in your look, just use these shades that I used up here right down on the lower lash line, but I'm going to grab a Sigma pencil brush, and we're going to go into grandeur. Okay, so I'm taking this shade and I'm just pressing it right into this lower lash line. And this is really nice and pigmented. I'm very happy to see that. I saw in the palette that the neutrals are working really well. So now I'm also seeing that the colors are working well. Very pretty. Okay, I'm going to grab this E49 from Sigma and go into my dam right here. This, this really bright shade, top off my brush. And I'm just going to use this to blend a little bit more out here just to give us a little more dimension to this lower lash line. Just back and forth very, very lightly. Not going for like tons of payoff. Just to add a little dimension, a little more blending. Okay, now I'm grabbing this Sigma brush and we're gonna go in to this beautiful yellow shimmer up here. That if you pair this yellowy shade with neutrals, it's gonna pull more neutral. If you pair it with more bright, vivid colors, it's gonna pull more bright and vivid. So I think it's gonna be the perfect inner corner shade. See how it just, it's kind of perfect to, to bridge the neutrals with the brights down here. Okay, if you want this look to be super impactful and you really want to highlight kind of this teal that we have on the lower lash line, use an eyeliner that kind of coordinates with it. But I want to pair it with black because I want this to kind of stand alone, be a little more subtle. So I did buy one of the Jaclyn Cosmetics eyeliners. I just bought the black shade. I haven't used it yet, so I'm going to put that on and I'm going to put mascara. Not going to use false lashes. I'm just going to use my Melt Supernatural Lash Mascara. I'm going to pick out a lip color and then I'll be back and we'll see how this look comes together. All right, y'all. This is my finished look. I added the black eyeliner and mascara. And I think all of these shadows performed so beautifully. I love the tilt lower lash line. Let me know what you think. I did use, I wanted to go like really, really kind of a simple skin. So I used both of the shades from the Color Sheen, Airy, and Ambient. I mixed both of these and I just kind of tapped them in with my finger and then pressed them into this to the skin with a sponge for my highlight today. And then I used the Color Wash Blush in Youth and Play. And again, I mixed both of these. I put them on with a brush and then I pressed them in with a sponge because I just wanted like a wash of color on the cheeks. I didn't want a bold blush or anything like that. So that is what I have on the skin. Both of those products I put on before I set my face with powder. Now, for my lips, I have on another indie brand. I ordered these products from Ace Beauté. This is the Pout Perfect Lip Liner. I have the shade Nailed It. And I'm wearing the Lip Gloss. This is the Ace Beauté Gloss in Spot On. How luxurious is this packaging? But, yeah, this is my first look. This is with the Rococo palette very pretty I'm excited to wear it the rest of the day 
I really, really, really like the lid shade. I think that's so super beautiful. But let's jump into the next look and let's do something a bit more on the colorful side. All right, y'all, I hope you enjoyed that first look. I really did. It wore so well throughout the day. I just, I really liked that look. Now, I filmed the intro. Y'all saw I was wearing the black t-shirt. I filmed two different eye looks. And then when I went to edit the footage, it just, it did not, the footage did not look right. Like the sound wasn't that great. It wasn't always in focus. So I had to scrap it. I had two looks. But I'll let you know <laughs> that this Art Nouveau palette performed so well, like so easily. But I want to, I, I didn't want to put, I didn't want to put those looks up because like I said, the footage just wasn't great. So we're going to create again. I've played with most of the colors in this palette now because I did two different looks. But I want to show you how this performs. So we're going to create a look now and then I will kind of give you my thoughts at the end now that I've I've had three looks this is going to be the fourth of me testing this I am wearing the color sheen highlighters again today I'm wearing these and that is airy and ambient and then for blush I'm wearing timeless and daydream so that's the blush and highlight that I have on today. My eyes are primed with my Sigma Ignite Eye Primer. And I really kind of want to play with these, like this row or this column right here, the reds and the oranges. I think this looks so, so pretty. So I'm going to start first with this matte bright yellow. I'm picking this up on a by Beauty Bay brush. And I'm just going to put this... In the crease right here but also all above the crease just buffing and blending like this really letting it be blown out like coming up really high with this shade but just I would just want it to be super duper blended next I'm gonna grab this brush from the Cleona and Emily Violet Marie collab and I want to go in to the shade Rogue right here, this beautiful kind of burnt orange. And I'm going to put this on top of the yellow, but I'm not going to bring it up so high. It's going to go right in the socket. So I'm just pressing that brush down. And then when I get to the outer corner, I'm going to bring it out a little bit further than the socket. But right in here, I'm just going to stay pushing the brush right in the socket of the eye and then out over here. Okay, those shades layered so well on top of one another. I think it's so beautiful and pigmented and it's looking like a sunshine and I'm here for it. But now I wanna add some red, this shade right here, Zodiac. I wanna put that on the lower lash line and then I wanna kinda of wrap it around to this outer corner out here. Okay, I'm going to take my BK Beauty 207. I'm going to tap right into Zodiac. And I'm going to start first with it on the lower lash line. So I'm just kind of feeling that it's rubbing my lower lashes, blending it down and around like that, picking up a little more, and I'm going to bring it up right out here so that it just adds a little more depth and color to this outer corner just like that and then I can go back and blend in just a minute but right now I'm just kind of focused on placing the colors where I want them to be okay I had such an easy time blending those shades I really really like the way this is coming together but I want to do an orange shimmer on the lid so we're gonna go in with this shade right here and I have not tried using these shadows yet with a glitter primer under the, underneath. I've had a great experience like just applying them, spraying the brush, applying them straight onto the lid. But I want to prime with my NYX glitter primer and see how impactful I can get this shadow to go. All right, so I'm just going to press that right on top of that glitter primer. And that's looking so beautiful. Oh, I can really see the shimmer and the shine. 
That's really, really pretty. Oh, I like that. I think I need to do a little more blending out here, which is fine. Remember, you can always put the shades where you want them. You can go back and blend. You can apply another shade. You can go back and blend. I just love the way this shimmer looks on the lid, though. I'm just tapping a little bit of that glitter primer on with my finger, picking this up with the brush, and then pressing it on. That's really, really beautiful. Okay, I'm so happy with how this is coming together. Now I want to go in with this kind of, it's not yellow, but it's not orange, like a, a really, really light orange yellowy shade called Kiss. And I'm going to take, let me see, this is a BH brush. And this is going to go right here on the inner corner. Yeah, that's really pretty. Just going to pop that just like this. And then I'm going to put on some eyeliner. I am going to put on some mascara and probably some false lashes. And then I'll be back and I'll kind of give you my thoughts now that I've tried all of these products from Kai Love a few times. All right, y'all, this is my finished look. I threw on my current favorite lashes, which are my Lily Lashes in the style Mykonos. And I really, really like this look. I love the yellow, orange, red that we have going on. I feel like it looks so pretty and summery, and I'm here for it. Let me kind of tell you, like, my thoughts on these. Now that I've done a few looks with these palettes, I really like the formula of these shadows. So the Art Nouveau palette, really, really pretty rainbow palette. I like the range we have in here, but I have to say, if I could only pick one palette, I love this Rococo palette. This is a beautiful color story. I like that we have these deep shades. I like that we have these mid-tone shades, this really light yellow shade. I love the mix of neutrals and colors, but the formulas are great in both palettes. So you just pick what color story you like most. I just think this is a really, really fun color story and I feel really inspired when I look at this. I really like the cream blushes too. Let's see. The highlight I think is really nice. I enjoy it. I think it's very pretty, but I like the cream blushes even more. My favorite would be Youth and Play. I like these colors and these are not as like, I don't want to say shimmery, but they're definitely not as glowy as the Timeless and Daydream color wash. So Youth and Play would be my personal favorite, but I've applied these with fingers, brush, and sponge. Applied them over powder, under powder, and they work beautifully. So thank you, Kyla, for sending me these products. Of course, I'm under no obligation to touch these products, play with these products, but I've just heard so many people say great things about the Kylove formulas, palettes, products. So I wanted to test for myself. I really hope that you enjoyed both looks. I hope you enjoyed this video. Definitely give it a thumbs up if you did. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you very soon in another video. Make sure you subscribe because I have lots of videos coming this week and I will see you then. Bye.